Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are doing well. In today's video, I'm going to be making coriander chutney. Coriander chutney is very tasty and it is one of my favorite chutneys. I hope that you guys like this chutney too. This chutney is perfect with dosa, rice, idli, anything you guys want. This chutney will go great with it. To see how to make this awesome chutney, please keep watching this video and let's go. Ingredients required for this chutney are coriander, the main ingredient, sliced tomatoes and sliced chili, oil. You need red chilies as well. These were chopped green chilies. You're also going to be needing red chilies, ginger garlic, turmeric. Then you'll be needing these ground nuts. And then salt then you'll be needing this turmeric. I'm letting it soak in water and then you need jeera powder and these two dals urad dal and dal the ingredients required to make this chutney let's go and see how to make this chutney so I've placed my pan on the stove and I've set it to low flame adding the oil so you can add two to three tablespoons of oil or how many to your liking then you're going to spread the oil all over the pan and you're also going to let the oil heat for about two minutes now my oil has heated Next, I'm going to be adding my red chilies and my dal. And you're going to first mix it a bit till it roasts and then you're going to be adding these ground nuts. So first you're going to mix and let this roast a bit. the ground nuts in and also I'm going to be adding the, the chopped chilies, green chilies and you're going to also mix these and let them roast. Now all my ingredients are roasted and I'm going to be transferring them onto this plate like that. And next I'm going to be taking a few more tablespoons of oil, just a little bit more. I'm going to spread it across the pan. Then you're going to be adding the ginger. And right after adding the ginger, I'm going to be adding the tomatoes. After that, I'm adding turmeric powder. And you're going to mix this and let it roast. And let all the ingredients incorporate together. Now my tomato and all my other ingredients have roasted. Now I'm going to be putting on this lid on my tomatoes like this. So the tomatoes and all the ingredients get cooked quickly for 5 minutes. So you can see how it is cooking. So it's cooking really good. And inside we are going to be putting some coriander powder for that nice tasty flavor. We are going to give it a mix. Tomatoes are cooking well. So after you've given this a good good mix like this, we're gonna be putting on the lid for five minutes. 
So you guys can see how my tomatoes are cooking in there. Now I'm going to be adding some jeera powder. You guys can add as much as you want to your liking. I've added a little bit and then you're going to mix it for that nice yummy flavor. So you're going to give it a good good mix like this. And once you have given the mix, you're going to just pop your lid back on and let it cook for 5 minutes. So it's been 5 minutes and my tomatoes are cooking well. Now I'm going to be adding the turmeric juice over here. I've drained all the turmeric and it's the juice now. You're going to be adding it now after 5 minutes. You're going to make sure to add this at the last. Otherwise your tomatoes will not cook properly. You're going to mix. Once you have mixed it, this is what it should look like. And once it does look like that, you are going to higher your flame and you are going to let that set, let it get dry. So you are going to keep it that way and let it get nice and dry. It's been a few minutes and as you can see, all the turmeric juice has been really goodly mixed with this. And it has dried up properly. As you can see, my tomato is are perfectly dried. Now I'm going to be taking this. Once your tomato look like this, you're going to take it into the plate. So you're going to put it. You're going to take all your paste, tomato paste, into the plate where you put those. Next, you're going to be taking these leaves, coriander leaves, and you're going to be putting them, popping these in. <laughs> it's a lot of the leaves. You're going to give it a one mix like that. And it will squash them in. And you're going to put the lid on and let that cook for about five minutes. So here is my coriander all fried as you can see as you fry it it shrinks so once it does shrink like this you're going to off your stove and you're going to transfer this into the plate. Now you're going to take all this into the mixie and you're going to mix it. So along with the chutney, I also was craving some dosa as the chutney would go great with dosa and any other like rice, dosa or even idli and my mom made this lovely batter, dosa batter with all kinds of dal so it's a protein batter. So with this batter I have on my pan and it has heated up so I'm gonna be making a dosa. be adding some oil right around it. So you're going to let that heat for some time and then you're going to flip it around. So once you get this golden brown texture at the top, you know that your dosa is ready to be flipped around. So there is your all protein dosa. If you guys want me to do make how to make this batter, let me know in the comments down below and I'll make a video on that. So I've mixed my coriander chutney and this is how lovely it turned out to be. It looks yummy and I bet it tastes yummy too. So let's go and try this out. Let's go. So here is my chutney and dosas all ready. Let's see how they taste. Mmm. Tastes pretty good. I really like it. I hope that you guys try this out for yourselves and let me know in the comments how your guys' chutney turned out. I hope that you guys really enjoyed this video and also liked my chutney recipe and if you did please give me a like, share, 
and subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to turn on those post notification bells so you do not miss another update. Don't forget to follow me on my Instagram which is in the description down below and floating on your screen. I'll see you guys next time. Toodles!